But if it's a claim like that, then yeah, I try to figure out what's reality and what's not. And much like Rick did, you could have two very, very different answers. Um, and it's hard to determine what the truth is because we're not in counting the money. Shall we yeah, move on? I, this is going to be a short segment. Good, Rick. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I'm not blaming the AI for this. I'm just confused because like I said, if you go over to the actual Doge clock itself, which they said was supposed to be synced up and working a few weeks ago, they're tracking 160 billion as of right now, tax dollars saved uh, with 429 days remaining so far, $993.79 per taxpayer uh, with a total of 18,393 initiatives. But you go over to the U.S. dead clock that has Doge. In, and again, it's a completely different number. I'm double checking the commas here to make sure I didn't screw up somewhere, but it looks like 379 billion, 18 and climbing. So there's a the clock right there. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's good. It, 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 listening to some of the Democrats, they say there's no uh, debt relief at all, that it's actually cost us more money now. So, it, which is funny because on then on the other hand, they're, they're whining that we're cutting funds. So, yeah. there's no well, right answer. Well, one of the reasons that I know Doge is working in several different aspects and nobody's really wanting to admit it is if you look, the US budget deficit has gone down by nearly a trillion dollars. Because remember, yes. it was it was taken up towards three trillion, and now it's down to just a little over two trillion. Now, granted, yep. that, that little hundreds column is still going up about every second. So it, you it's, know what's always you know what's always amazing to me about this debt clock, 